Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're doing common n from list 1, and I just want to remind you if you've been following along as we are doing two problems from Python and two problems from Java night. We're doing a list 1 and strings 1 from Python, and the same array 1 and strings 1 in Java. The reason why we're doing this is I really want to drive home that point that strings and lists actually are the same ideas at play, and it's good to practice them both together. All right, so common n. Given two arrays of ints a and b return true if they have the same first element or they have the same last element. Both arrays will be of length one or more. So in this first example, we see that the first elements are different, but the last elements are the same. Second example, oh sorry, it will return true. In the second example, neither the first nor the last elements are the same. In the third one, we see both the first element and the last element are equal. So what we have to do with this problem is we have to write a conditional statement to say, are the first elements equal or are the last elements equal? And to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable called la for length of a, length of a, and lb for length of b. And now I'm just going to write an if statement and say, if a at 0 is equivalent to b at 0, or a at length of a minus 1 is equivalent to b at length of b minus 1, we're going to return true, otherwise we're going to return false. And I hit go, and there it is. Now let's just let's just tighten this up a little bit. So I'm going to add comment, I'm just going to comment this out so you get all of the solutions if you want to look at them as we go. And I'm going to take this exact code here, and I'm just going to paste it below. Okay, the first thing I would recommend you do in terms of kind of tightening this up, um, is notice how I calculate the length and store them in a variable. We don't need to do that. So here I'm just going to make la and I'm going to say length of a and length of b. And I hit go. No problem. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice that this if statement, if it's true, it returns true, and if it's false, it returns false. So what I can do now is I can actually delete that, change this return, this if to a return, sorry, get rid of that the end and hit go and that's it so i hope this video helped and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out remember you can find all my solutions on my github repository linked in this video have a great day